What's up, everyone? It has been a minute. I have been touring all over the world for work. I just got back from the Tour de France and a couple racing trips. So I'm excited to get back into the YouTube grind and hopefully make my YouTube comeback. I'm giving you guys 10 free texture overlays that you can use in your videos. These things are dope. You can use them as a transition or you can just plop them right on top. It's fully customizable and you can change the colors of the whites and the blacks so that you can get the look that you are going for. And the best part is it's free. All you have to do is watch this video and as you go along, there's gonna be numbers and letters that pop down from the top and all you have to do is input that discount code when you go to purchase the product and it will ring up free now if you want to help support me it's five bucks this took me a little bit to make but I don't ask for anything I just love making you guys some stuff so we're gonna jump into Premiere to show you how to create this effect all right so real quick if you watch this whole video and you get all the discount codes I want to show you quickly how to install these so that you can import them into Premiere and modify them to your heart's desire all you have to do is head on over to the graphics workspace by clicking this little workspace button up here and then go to browse you'll probably see a bunch but I just removed them all all you have to do is click the install motion graphics template down there in the bottom right hand corner navigate to wherever you downloaded my texture pack and then manually import all of these once you do it will show up in your browse area of the essential graphics and if you can't find them just type in kh and those will pop in and then you can just drag them into your video projects and modify them as much as you want but now let's show you how to actually create these those texture overlays were actually created within after effects but i'm going to show you how to do it completely within premiere pro so for starters, they are just pictures. So I have a photo of waves and then I have some wood right here. All you have to do is scale these in and modify the position. So for starters, let's type in black and white and drag on black and white. Next, let's go type in curve and drag on Luma curve. We want our blacks to be black by dragging our bottom point and then our whites to be white by dragging that top point to the left. You can click and modify the inner curve if you want to get a different look. Now that we have those done, let's hide those layers and type in transform drag on the video effects distort transform and all you have to do is change the scale to 300 and once you do that let's add a position keyframe right at the start right click on that keyframe go to temporal interpolation and click on hold now all you have to do is click the right arrow key twice and then you can start clicking and dragging around your position value you can go all over your image now but just repeat this process right arrow key twice and click and drag all over your image to get a different look. Now, once you repeat this process, it should be noted that if you hold shift, it will actually start panning all over your image a little bit faster. And that's a nice way that you can do this quicker. You'll also notice that it's automatically creating these keyframes for us because we initially started with one keyframe. Now, once you're happy with what you have, all you have to do is highlight all your keyframes, click Control C on a PC or Command C on a Mac, and then go to the end and click this left arrow to go to that keyframe, hit the right arrow key twice, and then paste it in. Highlight everything, copy that, go to the end again, go to the right twice, and then copy that in. You're basically just trying to fill out your entire duration so that it looks like this. So in a nutshell, you have just created this effect. The fun thing about it is you can actually just click and copy all of your effects in the effects controls tab and paste them onto your wood picture and you'll get another look. The only thing that I'd recommend modifying is the Luma curve again. You might wanna come in here and adjust your settings a little bit so that you can get a different look. Since I created the original texture overlays in After Effects, it was pretty easy because you could just use a command called fill and it would fill the whites and fill the blacks. But since we're in Premiere, you have to use a levels adjustment. So in the levels adjustment, you can play around with all these effects because whenever you click and drag some of them around, it will give you a different look and a different color as well. 
but I would highly recommend just making these a motion graphic and importing them into Premiere so you can use the quick and easy tool to change the white and blacks to different colors. Well, that's all I have time for for today. It feels great to be back and hopefully I can make another video soon. Peace.